This is ABC 7 News at 6. Well, just ahead here, a device that could revolutionize the way asthma is treated. And how it could become an early warning system as well. A new device that's just received FDA clearance could make the treatment of asthma much more effective, especially in young children. It's technology that was developed right here in the Bay Area. Ted Staffield had brutally crippling asthma. I felt like I had an anvil on my chest. Go ahead and have a seat in this chair. But eight-year-old Jillian Cohn's symptoms were harder to detect, according to her mom. We noticed that she was generally starting to slow down in her daily activities. But both were diagnosed with a new technology that allows doctors to give them the precise dosage of steroids to control their attacks. The machine, developed by a Menlo Park company called Apiron, measures minute particles of gas in the patient's breath known as ENO, or exhaled nitric oxide. It gives us a window, an actual window, into the bronchial tubes uh, without having to stick a bronchoscope, a tube, into the lung. Asthma specialist Dr. James Wolf says nitric oxide passes from the blood supply into the bronchial tubes when the tissue is inflamed. And being able to measure its concentration gives doctors a far more accurate reading on the severity of the inflammation compared to older methods that simply calculate the volume of a patient's breath. It's a marker of how many inflammatory cells, how much inflammation is in the lung. Perfect. This test tells us about the degree of inflammation. It tells us, does the patient have asthma? If they have asthma, is it well controlled? Do they need more medication? Do they need less steroid, more steroid? This is our cell gel sensor. The technology was the brainchild of Bhairavi Parikh, who came up with the concept as a graduate student at Harvard. Her husband and son have both suffered from asthma. She says the key is this small cartridge embedded with protein molecules that change color when they come in contact with the gas. You can't see it by eye, but our instrument actually measures that change in color and correlates it to a concentration of nitric oxide. And from there, the severity of inflammation. In the case of Hud Staffield, the more precise readings allowed doctors to trim back the dosage of the powerful steroids that were causing him nausea. But for Jillian, it told doctors that while her symptoms were mild, her problem wasn't. Measure the ENO level, and it's sky high. And even though the breathing tests are only minimally reduced, she has tremendous inflammation in her airway. And as a consequence, we go ahead now, we treat her fairly aggressively. And with early intervention, Jillian and her family say her symptoms are now completely under control. I feel a lot better. And nitric oxide technology may also have an application as an early warning device. Dr. Wolf says ENO levels often rise in the days preceding a bad asthma attack. So eventually patients may be able to monitor their own levels at home and adjust their medications accordingly. All right, we'll take a quick break. Much more to come here tonight, new at 6.30.